All right, gonna do a video about what uh, Street Beast has done for me and the whole judging it before you get there. Um, not a lot of people know very much at all about me outside of my fighting, but a few years ago, I was hospitalized for kidney failure and contracted rhabdomyolysis, which means my body started producing an enzyme that was eating and deteriorating my muscle tissue. Um, almost killed me, it got really bad. Uh, I had to get up and just will myself. I said, I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and just lay here and die. And I made myself get up and I walked around the hospital and I started getting better. And that was a kind of a point where I decided that I was going to, there's a lot of things that I wanted to do to just kind of test myself, see where I was at. Cage fighting is actually something I've always wanted to do. And it, while I was in the hospital, I found street beefs and contemplated it for about a year after I got out of the hospital I, I would you know talk myself into fighting and then whenever I'd go to message I'd talk myself out of it well I finally did it and I was like man it doesn't look too tough you know I go out there see where I'm at kind of gauge myself man showed up and it was fucking rough like it really pushed my body showed me that you know I've got a lot of work to do to get back to where I was physically before I was hospitalized and lost a lot of that and Street Beach gave that back to me man it made me hungry again um, it's a family it, it's addictive it's the environment itself you, you don't you can't help but want to come back over and over and over again and it, it is it, it's fucking rough it's don't just think it's oh it's these back dudes fighting you know these dudes fighting in a backyard it's it's a whole lot more than that like there's there's a lot to it there's a lot of guys that are coming out that are really really good have a lot of skill um but yeah that's just wanted to give my piece on what street Beefs did three beefs first time i fought in the yard was against heathen uh my cousin, he invited me to the group. I started watching the videos on YouTube. Looked fun. Just looked like a bunch of, you know, buddies just throwing down. So I thought I could go in there. I thought I was going to definitely hold my own. Uh, I even messaged Face before I went and said, hey, you know, not trying. Yeah, I messaged him all, with all respect. You know, I said not trying to be disrespectful, but you know, don't match me up with somebody that uh, you know can't fight. You know, I was like, I want to test myself. I got a test. They put me up against Heathen. Uh, even then, I still thought, you know, I was gonna be able to hold my own for sure. Uh, I've seen all his fights on YouTube, I know, you know, he throws hard, I know he, he had knockouts, I think at the time he was like 4-0, something like that, he actually fought someone in the same day before he fought me, he fought another guy and beat him, uh, we was the last fight that day, we, match started, a few steps in that sand, and I, I mean, I was already gassed, and I've never, I realized that I've never fought someone that I wasn't mad at. Like, and he he tagged me, hit me. Uh, you no, know, I thought I had my hands up good, but in reality, I didn't. Didn't have my hands up at all. Moved around for a little bit. I think the fight lasted maybe like a minute and 20 seconds. He hit me with a, a left to the body, right to the head, knocked me down, and that was it for me. Drove four hours on the way back home. And yeah, it's definitely a lot harder than it looks. Uh, don't think just because you got a bunch of street fight wins, you're going to come in here and wreck shop. It might be the case, but you don't know until you try it. So glove up or shut up. What's up, y'all? It's Quan Flake, the serial killer. Fighting out of bad news, Virginia. Training out of rough house boxing gym rough house yeah this is my video for those who the first time coming to fight in the yard man let me tell you something man y'all see a lot of videos on on um on youtube facebook or whatever and you may sit back and think man i could have i should have man if i was in that i could have did this let me tell you something i've been boxing ever since i was 12 street fighting a little bit you know a little getting off the school fighting at the playground i always had heart i always i started fighting because yo i hated bullies I used to be bullied when I was younger. I was quiet and shy, but then one day, 
you know, I'm originally from Lake Charles, Louisiana, you know, and when I moved here to Virginia from them, I had to carry that way I was taught then, back then. You fight the neighbors, uncles, friends. They didn't let you just walk away. No, if there was a fight, you gonna stand there. And if you gonna stand there, you gonna take a whipping, but they gonna make sure you learn how to defend yourself. So when I got here, a lot of people played me off because I was quiet and shy. But then after a while, there was this tall kid by the name of Keith Saunders. Me and him still friends on Facebook as I say. He was taller than us. I'm talking about he about like 6'9 now. But let me tell you something, man. You got to have heart, determination, and all that to be able to get in, in there and fight. I fight with state prison boots on. So you know when I'm moving around in the ring, I'm carrying a lot of weight. Not because of, yo, what, I, what I'm fighting for. is because, yo, the boots are heavy as well. So when you get in there and you start mixing up with the, the sand or the dirt, you know what I'm saying? You got to think about it. A lot of people don't know how to breathe when they punch. So when you punching and you holding your breath, that's one thing against you. You know what I'm saying? And then if you take a hit and don't know how to breathe, that's another thing against you. And then another thing against you is that you, a lot of people get in there, they get too excited. So their heartbeat be pumping. Boom, 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 and they start breathing faster. You know what I'm saying? Once you lose control, you lose your breathing. So blood get to flowing. At the end of the second round, I mean, at the end of the first round, if you make it past the first round, you sitting in your corner like, damn. Like about two, three more rounds to go of this, if you can last. You know what I'm saying? So my first time on the yard, I was asked by Mouse to come up there. He asked me twice or three occasions. I was training and running everything. You know what I'm saying? So, but I've never fought outside in that type of, you know what I'm saying, climbing and all that. It was cold when we got out there. And when I got there, I was, I was confident. I had called out the animal and everything. Nobody had never seen me fight or anything. I was 0-0. Oh oh. I told Mouse, I want the best fighter that y'all got. Put him on deck. Lace him up. Set it up so I can knock it down. So, but the animal was hurt at that time. I'm glad he didn't fight me, yo, because, whew. That first time on the yard, I fought a guy by the name of Dez Red and out of North Carolina and stuff. Me and him friends on Facebook, too. And... I could take a hit. If any of my videos you can see, I take a hit. I really don't know I'm hit until I hit the crowd go, ooh, because why my neck is so big and I don't really don't feel your punches. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I felt, I felt Wolfman. I felt, uh, well, I didn't see Clark Kent. But when I got up and stood up and seen how the cloud was spinning around and shit, uh, I knew I was hit. Uh, let me see. But, don't think just because you up here and you see dudes fighting and boom, boom, boom. If anything you know about anything about boxing, I've been boxing since I was 12. Boxing and fighting is totally different things. You know what I'm saying? You can learn how to box and get in there. You can be, I mean, you can fight your ass off. Learn how to box and get in there and get your ass whipped. You feel what I'm saying? I won Golden Gloves first time I, I got in the ring. And I was like, yo, I told the coach, yo, let me go. Because I fought. I ain't boxed. I fought person I was in there with. But yo, don't be sitting back keyboard gangster and talking about chip. Oh man. Oh, if I was in there with Italian Tyson or King Lid 90 or, or Cornflake, which is me. Don't say that. I'm going to bust your ass. Oh, such and such and such and such, man. I would have did this to him. I would did this. Let me tell you something. Mike Tyson had something about yo, a quote Everybody got a game plan until you get in there and get punched in your mouth. All that go out the door. Every time I fight a person on the street beat thing, man, I see him and I look at him like, yo, I study him. I'm like, I'm going to go ahead and do this to him. I'm going to go ahead and do that to him. But when I get in there, man, that shit go clean out the door. You know what I'm saying? It's survival mode. It's warrior mode. So, yo, if your heart ain't into it and you ain't determined and you ain't got that, that, that warrior in you, yo, you could be the next person laid out in the dirt or tapping out. Or run around there like 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 a Wolverine on a chicken. You feel what I'm saying? Got to chase you down just to punch you. So yo, don't never underestimate anybody or anything that you see on street beef until you able to walk that yard and walk out with a W on your back, not a L. I don't care what you say about trying. If you want them guys that talking that trash and get out there and lose, stay on the keyboard. Cause yo. When you get out there, I swear on everything I love, man, for real. It's totally different from boxing in the ring and boxing in the yard. I'm going to leave it like that. 
until you're able to see it for yourself. Whether you call me out or one of the big names that's up here and you choose to go in there and take this. And also, man, just because you can fight, that don't make you mean you experience. Let me clear that up right now. Just because you can street fight or have a few little bit of fights here and there or sparred in the gym, that don't make you experience for real. Let me tell you something, man. There's some guys in this yard that will actually get on TV and punish a few people. You feel what I'm saying? Boxing and backyard fighting to me is... I give it two different things. If I know I'm going against a boxer, I'm a boxer. If I know I'm going against a fighter, I'm a fighter. So, yo, don't sleep on nothing that you see on TV. And this is my video. Cornflake, the serial killer, the heavyweight champion of Street Beat. I'm going to be here for a long time for all those who keep talking about Cornflake can't this, can't Cornflake this. See if you can take this punch. Oh, boy. And hey, your boy Gorilla in here, you know what I mean, chilling. I mean, ready to talk about the first time I fought in that yard, man. I just want to say it's hard. I'm not going to lie. Any, anybody who fought in that yard, they first time know it's the hardest. I mean, you fighting this. You, first of all, you don't know who you fighting. You feel me? You could be fighting anybody. Especially when they ask you about your, your, uh, um, your uh, experience level. And you tell them, oh, yeah, you know, I, I, I done been in a couple of fights outside. I'm experienced. And they give you a dude that's like six and one or something like that. Six and no. And he straight smash you. You feel me? You know, because a lot of people don't know. They just look at TV and be like, man, it's so easy. I had dudes that even told me that, like, yo, this looks so easy. I'm, like, I'm about to get in street beats. I, I just look at him, yo. I had a couple homeboys from Baltimore say that. Yo, street beefs look easy, yo. I'm going to get in there and smack something up. I be looking at them dudes like, man, only if these niggas know, man. You feel me? Like, it's hard, yo. Like, a lot of my fights was hard. Loss of loss at your breath. You feel me? That's why you got to train. You got to get in the gym. I ain't going to lie. You got to get in the gym. You get, If you want to continue to fight there and fight numerous of fights there, you feel me? You got to get in the gym. I say if you was a dude that's this, oh, I'm going to come down here once or twice to fight here and there. You feel me? He still got to train because you never know. Like, these dudes in there be straight animals, savages. You feel me? They want the same thing you want and maybe more. You feel me? So you got to get you gotta get on your shit in there. You feel me? I just, I mean, like I said, I, I'm 12 fights in. I'm 10 and 2. And every fight I fought was hard. I mean, I ain't had no easy fights. You feel me? I'm from Baltimore City. You feel me? I'm 31 years old. I know what it's like to be to go to prison. I mean, I ain't do a big, 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 but I did six years. You feel me? It's hard, bro. Like, like, at, like, you gotta be able to, you gotta be able to, um, uh, um, keep yourself together in there. You feel me? Because if you go in there, dude, gonna come at you. And you can't be scared. I mean, you easy to say, oh, I'm not scared till you get in there. You get in there and you see how dude's working. You feel me? Yay. That's why I me mean, when I first came there, like I ain't know nothing about it. I mean, I went to the tough man contest. It was almost as tough as the tough man contest. And the tough man contest is like very bad, man. I was a hard thing to do, man. Six, five, six fights in one day. That's like one of the hardest things you could ever do, you feel me? Like, so I seen that when that one day I was like, dang, this this true. You feel me? It is it's it's crazy in there, man. So my fight was like Yeah, you feel me? My fights wasn't easy. You feel me? Even the easiest person, you feel me, uh, uh give somebody uh trouble. If you don't know, because it's not the same thing, you feel me? I mean, you fighting on the street, it's like that, but this it's, diff it's a difference, you feel me? Because like I said before, like, you fighting on the street, it feel different. I ain't going to lie. I mean, you know, them fights only last about two, two and a half minutes, three minutes tops. You feel me? When you when you got fight uh, um, three of those, you feel me? Three, two minutes, six minutes, six minutes, and, and, and it, it, it seemed longer. Cause you got certain dudes that just don't come up, pop, 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 and and or just you can't slam and, but you know what I mean, none of that. You feel me? You gotta go in there, and go hard, unless you're doing MMA, and them some them dudes will crack you up too. Like I don't get how a lot of y'all dudes be on there and watching, 
You know what I'm saying it look. I mean, anything look easy. Basketball look easy. Um, professional bas basketball look easy until you get in front of one of them dudes and they cross your dumb ass up. You feel me? So you just can't say nothing easy until you did it. If you did it, then you can say it. You know what I mean? If you did it and then you say what it what, what you at the at the a three or four fights, you be like, oh yeah, yo, they that was easy. Nothing easy, bro. Nothing is easy, bro. Everything hard. Everything is hard for us that fighting. That fighting, man, yo. I mean, you got dudes in here that's going to get you, that's going to win, that's going to beat you. And you got dudes that's going to lose to you. You feel me? But best believe all of them coming hard, though. You feel me? All of them going to come with something different. You feel me? So, I mean, you got to get you got to get it together when you when you're in that yard. You got to think, you feel me? Like me like I, like I say, man, I, I love this yard, man. You feel me? I'm gonna continue to fight. I'm gonna come to every event. I mean, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna make myself better, and I'm gonna keep making myself better until I obtain what I want. You feel me? Like I mean, first it wasn't no belts when I first came there. I first came there last year though, in like June. So I ain't even got like a whole year in in street beats or boxing. But you feel me? Well, at first it was just you fighting people, whoever, you feel I me, mean? heavyweights, and, and it was just heavyweights, so whoever was 20 pounds, you feel I me, mean? uh, away from, away, uh, 20 pounds more than you or something, that's how they was doing it at first, there was no belt, so you just by fighting if you wanted to fight, just to fight for the, for the sport, or you wanted to fight to get your name out there, however, that's how it was at first, but now they got the belts, and I'm heavyweight, so conflict run the belt now um, uh, 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 in the heavyweight division. I fought him once. He beat me first time. You feel me? Now we we, we get to go against him. I mean, and 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 I think he's a good fighter, awesome fighter. I mean, you, like I said, just you just don't know who you fighting. You can't sleep on nobody in the yard. Yo. Your first time coming there, just come come correct. I don't care how you going, just come correct. Because once they lock that gate and they say, tap them gloves and that to that, you on your own, broski. You know what I mean? You on your own. Until somebody throw that towel in for you, you quit after you sit down or something. But you on your own. You feel I me? Mean? Everybody else just outside is looking in. You the only one going to feel them punches. You feel I me? Mean? So, yeah, you feel me? That's just how it is, man. I love, I love it though. It, it, it definitely a motivation. You feel me to keep you grinding. So, I mean, that's what I do. And it's, like I said, it's hard for a lot of people. So, yeah, your boy Gorilla. You feel me? Ten and tw ten and two street beast. You know what I mean? Potomac Valley tough man champion. Yeah, holla.